Why, hello there. This is the Cassette Master. And welcome to my video. This video is called At My Desk 2. Shot at my desk in my bedroom. You may have seen a video very similar to this in the past uploaded on the 15th of September 2012 but today's date is May 20th 2013 in this video we will be showing some mechanical pencils. Not my entire collection, but some pencils that you may have not seen in earlier videos, as well as some re-showing of some classic pencils, such as what's coming up right next. Some big mechanical pencils. Side note, my clock went on a blinking frenzy. Can you believe it? It's blinking right now. It's blinking right now. And it's making its pop noises as it blinks. Therefore, I hate blinking frenzies. <sighs> okay. Here, arrayed, you can see some big mechanical pencils. There are ten of these big units displayed. <coughs> Nine of them the classic black big mechanical pencils. You can see this big unit right here with the yellow clip. Classic. And I just want to get a good shot of all these big pencils. You may remember the style of big mechanical pencils back in the 1990s. But also I'd like to show you this interesting big specimen. Brown on each side and kind of a off-white color for the barrel big pencil contains three lids and you can't see it on the video well but it says France this particular big pencil on the bottom the white one oh excuse me was made in the 1980s but, excuse me it is my oldest big pencil in my collection oh. Very interesting. Now, we can show a little bit of writing tests with some of these big mechanical pencils. Now, now what I will be doing here is formulating a random note report. Random note reports were originally invented, well, I originally started doing random note reports at the end of 2007, like in December of 2007, somewhere around there. And it was common practice for my best friend Evan to read random notes into a tape recorder. So as I show these pencils, I'll actually be formulating the random note report as well. Now I'm not going to show me write the entire note report, but what's written to show off these pencils operate in this video will be what is going to start out this random note report. Oh no, I'll have to soon take Chris to work. Anyway, uh, 
I am writing with the classic old big bounce pen. Now, I'm going to try out a different big bounce pen. The one with turquoise clip. This is not the original eraser. The original eraser was missing. Now a big with turquoise clip. And last but not least to show all these big puzzles, I'm still writing with the old unit from the 1980s. showing of writing with some of these big pencils and hearing how it sounded to write with the big pencil. <laughs> Next up, uh, as far as mechanical pencils are concerned, I would like to show a set of colorful Bic. No, sorry, what was I thinking? I, I just, no, no, no. Next, I would like to show a set of colorful Pentec mechanical pencils. These pencils were likely bought in the late 1990s, if not the early 2000s. Here, Reciting in this little case, you may see the big pencils I just showed, and some other newer big pencils as well as a couple of paper made sharp writers. But over here, this colorful bunch, are the Pentec pencils. These are the Pentec pencils. And I used to have a set of, I think it was 24, or was it just 12? It was probably something like 24 of these back in the second grade. I still have two remaining units, literally from the days of me being a second grader back in 1999 to 2000. I'd like to show you the two remaining Pentec pencils I have from the days of the second grade. Okay, you may have noticed up here, through some kind of slow teleportation system, the two pencils remaining, literally from the days when I was in the second grade, appear at the right vertically. <clears throat> First off, let me let you know that, that all these other ones horizontally placed were got at an estate sale, which I was very pleased to find them because they reminded me of my days in the second grade. But here, you can see two remaining Pentec pencils, which on the clip it says, number two pencil, 0 0.7 millimeter. Now, a lot of the Pentec pencils we had back in the second grade would actually say Pentec on the clip. It would say Pentec, and I think it said .7, and stuff like that. I don't know why none of these ones do. If you notice, the newer, well, I don't know if they're much newer, but the ones I got from the estate sale don't say anything on the clips, but they are Pentecs. Uh, but the ones from the second grade do have a number two pencil 0.7 millimeter on the uh, clip. Now, you can see the yellow one here has an off color, it's, like it's a blue eraser. I'm, this may not be the original eraser. It may be, I would, it would have been put on there in the days of the second grade, perhaps taken off from another pencil. 
Because normally these white erasers I've seen on the others that are kind of short are the original erasers. Because I remember them being short like that whenever I got a pack of a whole bunch of them back in the second grade. And boy, I was excited too. And that was also back when we had a Windows 95 computer. This one's eraser here is not original. It was taken and put from another pencil. Now, it may be surprising to see having pencils literally from the days of the second grade because back in the day I would always lose pencils. Right now I have extremely high standards and very strict requirements when it comes to pencil handling in which I do whatever I can, whatever precautions I can possibly take to not lose a single mechanical pencil. But the, and the reason why I have that policy now is because in the past so many interesting and nice mechanical pencils have been lost either from me letting probably one of the most common things was I would let somebody borrow a pencil and then they'd never return it or also another form of them getting lost was or not necessarily lost lost but I would trade mechanical pencils especially in the fourth grade uh, trading was a big thing and uh, we would trade mechanical pencils and if there was a mechanical pencil I really wanted from someone sometimes I would have to trade several of my pencils for their one pencil to basically get them to give it because they weren't willing to just trade one pencil for it so that was another way I would lose pencils and then of course there was simple losing it just regular old losing it you misplace it you leave it in the classroom and you don't realize it things like that so you might think oh I had 24 of the Pentec pencils and the two survived not getting lost well that's not that's basically right and wrong here's why these two Pentec pencils were likely traded because my best friend Evan also liked mechanical pencils and there's a good chance that these pencils used to be mine and that they were traded with Evan perhaps because these two pencils were in Evan's possession for many years which were which were actually in storage in an old pencil school bag left in storage and forgotten about at Evan's house because I was there hanging out with him one day and looking through some old stuff and there I found it and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw these two Pentec pencils because I recognized them right away and I knew they were from when we were in the second grade together and um it was probably pencils that I had traded with Evan and they ended up coming back to my possession years later and if it weren't for trading or for however they got into the hands of Evan Rogers these pencils would have been lost forever so thanks to them being in the possession of Evan Rogers they have been preserved for all those years probably since 1999 to probably 2011 or 2012 whenever I found the I was probably 2011 whenever I found these pencils at Evans house so now you can see the two Pentec pencils from the days of the second grade and the more acquired Pentec pencils of various colors some of them girly colors uh, this one here I don't know if you can notice very well but it's like highlighter colored and they're really nice so I'm going to be performing some writing tests, excuse me, with some of these pencils. Uh, I may also perform some eraser tests for those that are curious. First will be this from the days of the second grade red Pentec pencil.
Now the yellow one. And now, the highlighter colored one. Pay attention to the way this one sounds when writing with. It's lead. It's a little different from other leads, and it um, has a strange kind of quality to it while writing. It feels odd, and um, you may notice also the sound uh, that accompanies it may show some of its oddity. to work. For me, it will take a little while, but for the video, it will only be a pause and come right back. As a bonus for the video, and just a short side note, I will be showing sharpening this pencil on the vintage Panasonic pencil sharpener. As you can see, it sharpened the pencils successfully. Okay, back to the uh, Pentec pencils. I will show writing with one more Pentec pencil and then performing an eraser test with said big, I mean, with said Pentec pencil. This unit right here, purple in color. For some reason, on the LCD screen on my camcorder it looks blue but I'm not going to buy the writing erase I'm just going to write test for now we'll erase So you can see the eraser isn't of the best quality, but it's 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 okay. You can see how the eraser is affected. showing some more mechanical pencils, but ones of a considerable higher quality. The following will be showing a couple of BIC AI, or Artificial Intelligence Mechanical Pencils. The following are two BIC AI Mechanical Pencils, as displayed. You can see their interesting design and that indeed they even have a cap for the eraser. The units use 0.5 millimeter lead and are made in China. I'll give a close up of clicking out the lead. Now, you'll notice that when I push it back in, the little sleeve sticking out does not go in and stay in even though it can move like that and notice as I do that it advances the lead like as if I were clicking the unit <coughs> and then you notice if I do this it also advances the lead these pencils have three modes of lead advancement that is the shaker the auto advance and the standard click 
I'll start with the lead all the way in the pencil and write. You can see that it was able to write from the get-go. And if we look carefully enough, you may notice a very subtle, small, slight amount of lead sticking out from the sleeve. Now shaking. It's like normal clicking and you can write normally. And so that is a showing. And here is the other unit right here. I'd like to demonstrate squeaky lead for those of y'all who may be interested. These pencils came loaded with squeaky lead, a kind of lead that I really like because I like the pleasant squeaking sound it makes. The next set of pencils will be several various mechanical pencils that um, I got since the making of my Mechanical Pencils 4 which if I remember correctly that video had been made in November 2012 so these pencils would not have been featured before except that uh, one of them was shown as a steel picture in, or maybe two of them were shown as steel pictures in the audio presentation by me and Evan on mechanical pencils which had been recorded on January 1st 2013 so without further ado let's get a nice look at these pencils as you can see displayed are more pencils Ugh. first I'll show this pencil this is the Pentel PD347 mechanical pencil using 0 0.7 millimeter lead this pencil is the older type with smooth grip the newer types have ridges on the grip and I don't like the ridges I like the smooth grip that the older types had when I was at school at the campus bookstore when I found that this was the only one with smooth grip left and all the others had ridges I had to buy it right away before it would be too late this pencil or this model pencil is significant in my life because it is the certain model the same model mechanical pencil which got me into mechanical pencils when I was seven in the year 1998 in first grade my mom had this model pencil back then and she let me use it and try it out on my work it was the first time I had really paid any close attention uh, attention to a mechanical pencil and I fell in love now Here's another interesting mechanical pencil, a vintage one, made by Skillcraft, using 0 0.5 millimeter lead. It even has shock absorption. It's a very nice old mechanical pencil. The cap can be taken off to reveal the eraser. Here's another Pentel twist erase type pencil, a nice maroon color or burgundy color. 
model QEE517. This pencil was got at Walmart while going pencil shopping with Evan Rogers, probably on January 1st or January 2nd, 2013. Of course, it has an extendable eraser, but you probably already knew that. Here is a very special specimen. The Pentel P203. You may first notice that this looks like the P205, except it's brown in color. Well, the brown in the color coding of the lead classification system of Pentel is that from large to small, yellow means 0.9. Blue means 0.7 millimeters, black 0.5 millimeters, and brown 0 0.3 millimeter lead. This pencil oh, excuse me, uses 0 0.3 millimeter lead. This pencil I got on eBay, and it was... Although the pencil is manufactured in Japan, the pencil shipped all the way from South Korea. Now look at this. Look how thin that lead is. That is some delicate lead. I don't even have a thing to refill lead for it. But it came with several leads inside. It originally had a, a white eraser, but I replaced it with an old green eraser because this pencil I had originally got this model pencil as a special gift from a brother in the church back when I was in the fourth grade it was a very special pencil to get 0 0.3 it was so cool and then one day in class in the fourth grade a kid said that if you let me borrow that pencil I will ba buy you a pack of several um, mechanical pencils and ends up being that the type of mechanical pencils he was referring to was a pack of these kind of pencils which I had seen him have one time and I wanted the Rose Art Great Grips series which is a very cheap pencil um, using 0.7 millimeter he said if I let him borrow that pencil he'll get me a pack of these so sure just let him borrow it for a little while he'll give it back right and then he'll buy me a pack of pencils. Nice deal. Nice kid, you'd think. Only to find out that that would be the last time I'd ever see my 0 0.3 pencil. He never returned the pencil since. I never saw the pencil since he had it. Since he had borrowed it that day. It was gone. My hard to find 0 0.3 millimeter mechanical pencil was gone it was officially borrowed away and it wasn't until the year 2012 when I got this unit on eBay and it's here to stay here is the Pentel Graph Gear 500 0 0.5 millimeter pencil you can see the black barrel signifying for 0 0.5 millimeter lead of course, I replaced its white eraser with a green eraser, as I prefer the green eraser. It has a better erasing texture, and it looks cooler, too. It's a very nice drafting pencil. A great unit. I got it uh, at Office Depot. Uh, I mean, not Office Depot. Uh, Office Max. Um... Is it late 2012, I think? Yeah, late 2012. December 2012, probably. Here's an old Big Atlanta 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil made in France. The cap is missing. But it works well. Well, it should work well, but now it won't click out the lid all the way. It might just be too short. It was, it was too short. There it goes. 
here is a Pentel Easy number two, zero point seven millimeter AX seventeen mechanical pencil. A cheaper unit in which you can buy a two pack at Dollar Tree. It's still a pretty nice pencil. Now for some vintage, real vintage pencils, probably from the 60s, or maybe the 70s. Here's an old wherever unit. And it says, you may not be able to see, oh, there it goes. Bell System Property. The eraser is hardened with age. You see this unit has a little dimple right there on the tip, which um, is a indentation which lets you know that this is a 0 0.9 millimeter pencil. You twist the top to get the lead out. Because you can see this other almost is identical looking wherever pencil bell system property on it as well but you'll notice at the tip it doesn't have that little groove the one without the groove signifies 1.1 millimeter lead usage you can notice it's a little thicker these but wherever units are made in the United States here is a very interesting vintage pencil which has a picture of the famous actress Marilyn Monroe and you can see it uses 1.1 millimeter lead this pencil is made in Denmark my only Danish pencil this is the Zebra Eco, which is made out of 72% recycled materials. It's a fairly nice pencil, my only complaint being the tip is somewhat wobbly. It has an interesting clip design, similar to the Graph Gear 1000, where you can, where it has a spring-loaded thing like that in it. The eraser has a cap. Here is a very special pencil. Got at an estate sale, but I used to have one like this back in I think my days in the fourth grade. Um, probably got at a similar time period as getting the original 0.3. Oh, excuse me. It was also a gift to me from another brother in the church. The original one I had, not this particular one. The original one is long gone. But um, it's the Pentel Champ. Model AL15. And back in the day was when I originally got it. I really, really liked it a lot. And it was probably one of my favorite pencils. I really liked the layout and style of the pencil. And it has a good quality feel. Listen to the click. I'll put it up to the microphone. Nice and solid feeling. And it writes really well. Last but not least on the lineup here is the tool. The tool. Or as Evan says, the tool. 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Watch the lid come out. The unit was got at Office Max and is sold exclusively at Office Max. Has a small diameter extendable eraser and is made in Korea. That would be South Korea. It's a very nice pencil where the majority of the body is rubbery like a grip except for this portion up here where it's standard plastic so it's a very interesting pencil to use a little bigger around than a lot of the other units too so it gives an interesting feel in the hand before I go I want to show you 
writing with the 0 0.3 pencil so you can hear how it sounds and see how thin it writes. Very nice, very thin writing. Now let's compare that to 0.5. Using the graph gear, 5,000. I mean, 500. You can see it's a little thicker. Now 0.7 with the easy number two. Now, we'll be showing point nine with the wherever pencil. You notice it's kind of light colored because a lot of vintage lead writes lighter for some reason. And now, the wherever 1.1 millimeter pencil. And you can see it's the progressing thickness from 0.3 to point, I mean to 1.1. I went down the wrong pipe. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video <clears throat> showing these nice mechanical pencils, describing these nice mechanical pencils from Bic to Pentec to Pentel to Skillcraft to wherever. To zebra, to tool, to the Marilyn Monroe pencil. I bid you all farewell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, viewers, listeners, watchers. Goodbye. From at my desk. This is John Richard Glein, the Cassette Master. Cold Productions, 2013.